So what we're going to do is we are going to just start by placing our blocks as uh, to the same height as this as our small game stop is it a game stop i don't even know what a game stop looks like solid dirkens game store so yeah um so what we're going to do is after we've done this and you guys should probably now be familiar with the style of building that i do when building normal stores and guys quick heads up on the next episode guys um i'm probably going to build some houses row houses on here on the next couple of episodes i'm just planning the perfect design i'm going to start building row houses here on the next episode i'm probably going to build a park or somewhere there on the next episode just to give you guys a heads up so don't feel like we're just working on the stuff we're going to be working on other stuff i'm going to leave the blocks just for just as the last episode of the block so yeah anyways here we go so starbucks build up to this point here then just leave a two block gap it's pretty much the same as greg's i believe and um yeah so once we've done that what we need to do now is we so guys i do apologize for the random cut it's just because whatever i literally was just saying turns out to be absolute nonsense so after we've got this done so what's up guys choose me as guys to see in today's video of you know how to build a modern city we are actually beginning to build ourselves our starbucks so all we've done so far is get ourselves green heart and clay Quartz slab, glass blocks, block of quartz, and all we've done is build up two pillars with a space of two blocks and just build up to the same height as this GameStop here. Or I don't know if it's a GameStop, but yeah. Let me actually check what color a GameStop is, guys. I'm just going to do a quick Google shirt chart, you know, forget it. Just So, anyways, guys, all we need to do now is we need to add another layer on top, and we need to add the layer of, let me just check how many blocks it should be. I believe it should be five, but I'm just double checking. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, there is five. So we need to add another layer of five blocks so one two three four five as you guys can see five blocks then what we want to do is we want to just fill this in all the way across like so and just take this out by 20 blocks i know i'm not counting it guys but you guys definitely should count it because um it, it, will, it will help you in the long run just count out by 20 blocks by now but it really doesn't matter it just means that you need to have enough space for the starbucks sort of word i would have done the logo guys but if you've seen the starbucks logo you know very well that it is near impossible for me to do that in minecraft without you know doing a huge store and there are going to be some huge stores of these dotted around the map so what we're going to do now is we are going to add ourselves another layer of the green hardened clay and we're going to add this layer directly underneath this billboard so this is the billboard for the name so what we're going to do now is we're going to add a layer of green hardened clay just out in the front like so and then now that we've done that just make sure that when you're doing the rest of your store if you know you just continue with this design so what we're going to do now is we are going to add the Starbucks logo so we're going to have to add the s first so we're going to start by building the s then the t well that's three just put three there then the a one two three then the r one two three then the b one two three then i'll just leave a space then the you want one two three then the c one two three then the k one one two three then the s guys one two three so for every letter i've counted three blocks with a one block gap with the quartz lab and this is because every letter right that i do is you know it's essentially three blocks so Firstly, we're going to build the S. So in order to build the S, we've already got our three block base. And that's just how I build all my letters. So what we're going to do is we're going to build up by one slab, then one, then another block. Then we're going to take it across by two slabs, then up by a block. And then on the top, we just add three slabs there. So that is the S. And I believe we could have done that a different way if we wanted to. So I could have done it like this. Let me just show you guys. So I could have done it like that. It's just, it's just preference. So let's just do it like that. So that's the S. Then we've got the T. So we just destroy these two, build all the way up like so. And then I just add the top layer across like so. Then for the A, we destroy the middle one, build all the way to the top, build all the way to the top layer like so. Then what we do, we place a quartz slab on the top and then one in the middle like there or there. It's up to you guys. I'll just say place it in the middle like so. So just leave a block of quartz as you guys can see that's like the block of quartz space so you could just build like a really terrible a and then you could either keep it like that or you could just you know sort of cut off like that to have it like a more sort of curved a it's really up to you guys so i, th I think like either one is fine so for the r we just need to cut this off and the r is actually really hard so we need to build up build 
build, build up build up this pillar over here so one two three and then um we need to just build across the top one two three then what we need to do is actually destroy this block place one underneath then place one diagonal to that like so and then just build up the rest like so so that's the r i know it doesn't look the greatest guys but it is what it is and we've kind of got to deal with it so now for the b we okay guys so for the b what you guys want to do it's actually fairly easy now that after a lot of practicing i've finally done it so what we're going to want to do is build up this pillar all the way to the top and add the final layer just make sure that it's the same height as these and what we want to do is add a pillar in the middle and a pillar on top then after that just make sure that you have your backboard stretched out as well make sure that you make sure that you're you know adding along along the backboard as we go along obviously because you know for obvious reasons or else the design will just look absolutely terrible just make sure you add the backboard and then what you want to do over here is you want to well we don't need that block what you want to do is you want to get your quartz stairs and just place it underneath like so just make sure it goes underneath and then just want to place one on top then you want to get a block of quartz and just place it there like so and then there you have your b then for the u all you need to do is build up both sides so just add quartz slabs all the way until the top like so for the c very simple just add pillars all the way onto the top then just add quartz along the top until it sort of comes to the c like so or you could just add along the bottom so it just makes it look like um and quartz along the top and then just add one there and add one there like so so it's very very simple c or what you guys could do there's so many ways to do c but i just feel like that's the most simple way you could even leave it like that to leave it like that or you could just add a bit there just to show that it sort of curves then for the k i believe the k is actually quite difficult so let me just switch over to this template the k actually looks terrible on the one i'm looking at so i think i'm just going to look at my original k which i did just to make sure that i don't do any sort of terrible case so, oh yeah that, that that's not that bad okay uh the one that i'm looking at is just awful it's just awful so yeah so all we need to do is build up this pillar over here build up this pillar so just add a port slab on the bottom one Add it all the way to the top add another quartz slab for the same height and so you know it's three blocks and a slab then what we want to do is we want to destroy this middle one add another quartz slab another block onto it so it's two blocks high just add a quartz slab one like one slab above it at the one slab above it one slab above it add one quartz slab to the left then just add a all right this would be a lot easier with the backboard guys that's why i say just keep adding the backboard and i'm not even following my own tutorial which is why this is kind of failing so let me just add the backboard now so as you guys can see when we've added the backboard as we go along all i need to do is add two slabs above this like so and then it's just a very very simple k and just add another block there just to sort of you know just even out the k a bit or let me just place that back because i just i just kind of messed up so yeah just to even out the k a bit it's up to you guys but i'll just leave it like that i know it doesn't look the best but you know Starbucks is what Starbucks is. So yeah. So now we're gonna do guys, we're gonna do the S. We've already done the S. So all we need to do here is just add one there, another block on the top, two across, another block on top, another slab on top, and then just two across again. So that is the official Starbucks, as you guys can see. Um yeah i'm kind of tired, but i've kind of feel like I've forgotten something. Hopefully I haven't, um, but yeah, so Another thing you could change for the U, what you guys could change is if you destroy this block and this block, you place place stairs underneath like so. And then you could place a slab on top of this and then you've got like a nice sort of curved U as you guys can see. And also for the C, if you guys want it to curve even more, destroy this block and destroy that block. And then just place stairs there and there uh, underneath. Just make sure that these stairs are going underneath. And then as you guys can see, the C is kind of curved, if you guys know what I mean, but it just looks kind of weird. So it's up to you guys whether you want to add that change or not. So if I was to just, uh, let me just see if that's, so yeah, so yeah, so you know, that is, that is probably looks better. So just destroy these two on that side and destroy these two and just place upside down ones like so. So you guys can just pause it here. I'm just going to go across looking at all the letters just in case any of you have any issues while building them. Um, so yeah. 
don't keep these blocks here just for your information those just look weird and if you guys don't want to build this city you guys don't have to i mean you guys can just watch me build it because you know i do enjoy building this world and, I, and the thing with why there's not much done in this world is because i'm actually planning this out a lot like i really do think it through on this world that's why on my other world i would just say you know i'm gonna build that then i just go ahead and do it and then later i'd regret that's why on this world i'm making sure whatever i build somewhere i know it's gonna be you know exactly what i want and it's all gonna be planned out so you guys can see this is the starbucks sign so i'm gonna go across slowly and if you guys have any issue you can just pause the video and then just look at your own letters so the s the k the c the u the b the r the A, the T, and the S again. So yeah, that is that. So it stops. And then of course, guys, all we need to do is just, I'm just going to have a really long window. We're just going to have a nice pillar down here. And then um, we're just going to add the rest of this. So one behind this, we're just going to fill it in with glass blocks, guys. So you might just want to add swiftness just for that. Um, and then for also, 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 guys, so when you fill in this whole pillar here, and I don't know how long we've been recording for, I honestly don't mind how long we've been recording for. And I'm only 17 minutes, so wow, that's, that's, that's not long at all. So yeah, as, as we fill in this long window here, once you fill in the long window, guys, all you need to do, well, you don't have to do it, but this is just an option to make your world look a tiny bit better. All I would say is that you should possibly add a couple of window dividers because realistically they would never have a window that's you know this long they would never install that so um let me just show you so every every or so long use your best judgment to try and split this in between three blocks so as you guys can see here i've just made sure that this extends out by one and no more than one it's not two it's not three it's just one more block and then i've come down and that's the end of the building and i've done the same at the start so just remember you do that for the building so yeah that is that is just something i just thought i'd add and i do that for all of my shops guys all of my shops i like this anyways because i'm gonna add some solo shops i thought i might add just like some mega stores in a single block of their own so if i can just fill this in this actually got done pretty quickly while talking so let's fill this in do, 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 do. okay what the okay okay there we go there we go as you guys can see and then so now that we've done that of course this whole window might look a bit weird so what you guys can do is just come to the middle i don't know where the middle is exactly and you can just place one of the blocks with um your hardened green hardened clay like so and then you know you've got like a sort of window divide and you can like sort of do it again but this is completely up to you guys um if you want to um, so yeah, in a couple of episodes, what we're going to do on the next episode, we're going to be building some houses over here, and we're going to be building a park over here, and I'm, I'm still undecided on the next skyscraper that I want to build, because number one, I want it to be easy, number two, I want it to look good as well. So yeah, so as you guys can see, I'm just going to add a third random window divider over here, and it doesn't matter if it's uneven, guys, right now it's uneven, but you know, you can't really tell too much, as you guys can see because that's just the joy of having a store. I mean, you can tell, but it doesn't really matter, guys. You could just have one long window and it would still look fine. For example, if you go there, look at JD, it still looks fine. I just haven't done the interior just yet. It's just an option that you guys have. So yeah, that is the Starbucks and the above apartments. I'm not gonna do in today's video just because I still wanna just finish off this episode with, you know, just leaving the stop. So I'm gonna, get, gonna add an above apartment probably going to be some probably going to be the same material actually um so yeah i might do the same material i'm not sure just yet just because of how the building is but yeah i probably would. in fact let's just do it just for the sake of it so let's get our sandstone get out our our stone do we have our stone yeah we have our stone and then we have our blocks like so so what we're going to want to do is just pretty much the exact same design as there so all we need to do is just build up a pillar like so just make sure it is, I believe, since this is two blocks lower than this, just make sure that when you bring your pillar up to this height, it's two blocks higher. So that is two blocks higher, as you guys can see. So one, then two, then this is going to be the roof here. So that's where we stop. And then um, what we need to do is we need to go across the bottom layer, like so. I'm not going to go all the way across. I'm just going to go halfway across just because that will take too long. Then we're going to go again. So we need to do that twice, as you guys can see. So let me just zoom out of that, as you guys can see twice two layers so the first layer if you guys are wondering is just because of um 
you know it's just like a buffer layer so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna destroy it not just yet actually we need to should i add another layer um let me just check guys i believe I should. So yeah, we're just going to add another layer on the side as well. So there's a two buffer, a two block buffer between the before I start adding windows. So what we need to do first is we need to just block out, you know, start destroying blocks along the bottom here. So we're going to destroy that by doing so in a three block pattern. So one, two, three, then replace them with stairs. Leave two block spaces, then one, two, three, three block pattern. Leave two spaces, then one, two, three. And then I will just continue on until you get to the end, guys. So let me just show you how the pattern will be when you get to the end of the Starbucks, just for the sake of this video. So let's just do that. Okay. So let's go over to here. And then um, two blocks. One, two, three. Then two blocks. One, two, three. Then two blocks. Then one, two, three. Two blocks. One, two, three. And then it's two blocks. So this actually does work out perfectly. Um, surprisingly it does work out perfectly I honestly didn't think that was gonna happen but you know I guess it's just one of Minecraft things so yeah all we need to do now is just build up the windows as we've done here and you know just add the above little thing that we usually add on the top there so yeah guys this is the tutorial if you guys did enjoy this video if you guys do don't forget to leave a like guys and subscribe i know i should have done the above apartments tutorial on this but i mean let me just show you for one and then you guys can just copy it for the rest of the design i wasn't gonna end the video but i just want to show you guys just for one so we're just gonna add these pillars because these pillars all need to be brought up to the same height as this and all we need to do is just leave a three high block gap and then all we need to do is add the underneath stairs like so so one two three then the middle add a two block buffer again then add the three blocks again one two three just count and then add underneath like so then the two block buffer like so and then on the top layer you just add your underneath stone brick stairs just for that like final sort of design and just make sure you wrap it around here and that is how it goes guys so all we need to do is fill in the windows and just carry this design all the way along so guys if you did enjoy this video don't forget to leave a like don't forget to subscribe on the next episode we're going to be building a park or either a park or I'm gonna start out on the row houses or I'm gonna get started on the skyscraper depending on if I can finish it or not guys so it's been Jim C if you didn't do the video if you liked subscribe until next time guys give me peace from me